Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome back, my friends, once again to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, your good old friend Jack. Up here once again in, you got it, the Jack Shack. Guys, today we are going to be working on part three of this antenna build. Now, I was trying to get part two and three together, but part two, hopefully you watched it. If not, I'll link it at the end of this video. The build, the actual construction of the actual enclosure took longer video time than what I expected. So I didn't want to add this video to it and make that video an hour, an hour and a half because I think that's way too long for YouTube and I'm sure you would agree with me. So we're gonna get started with part three, which is actually the actual wiring and building the components, getting them in the box and be walking you through that process and how I did that to get everything together. And then there will be a part four. Yes, guys, I know I'm not trying to beat this one to death, but again, I'm just trying to break it up as much as possible. But part four is a really good part because I took it to the field and I did a test. And you know what I, I'm not gonna tell you. Let's get started with part three right after this. All right, guys, I did want to throw this in there. So I have the nine to one on, on. We have the choke, okay? And I have the electrical connections made right here, if you can see those, okay? So that's the center conductor going to the center of the SO239. And that's the ground shield right there. So that's how I have those set up. I put this additional wire on. This will be going to the counterpoise that's the idea there okay so what i'm going to do now is uh, try to get the electrical connections made inside the box i'm going to be using some of these fork connectors okay and i want to use those because i don't want to wrap the wire around I don't want to wrap the wire wire around this thing. I figure I'd just put the connector and slide it in there. I think that would hopefully be better. I don't know. But it's a work in progress. Work in progress? Process. Work in process. Progress? Well, maybe we'll make some progress on this work. All right. Let me go ahead. And again, some of this work is going to be done off camera. Uh, with the joys of editing, we should be able to put everything together and uh, get you some idea of the final product if I get all this wired up. So that's my next step. All right, and uh, I'll see you uh, here in a bit. Okay, so the box is coming along perfectly well. This is exactly what I was thinking, okay? Got the counterpoise. I got the uh, random wire up here. I have my hole still for my eye hook. And yeah, so the box is coming along fine. What I'm working on right now is my solder joint. So this is going to the counterpoise. Okay, this is coming off the ground side of the wire here. Okay, off the shielded side of my choke. There is the shielded side going on to the SO239. I have to solder this. That's the center lead right here. I'm going to tin that, okay? Then the last connector I'm going to have to worry about is this one over here. That's the driven element. So, just getting all the wiring done is, is pretty challenging in this build. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, i just been taking an extreme amount of time on this. I'm not rushing anything. I was rushing last night and I broke a couple wires. So, yeah, just take your time. The worst thing to strip is this coax cable here. This is the hardest thing to strip. Now, if you guys have an easier way to actually do that, these are the strippers I'm using. I just told my wife last night, they are not incredibly sharp, so, but anyway, so just to let you know that this is what's going on, and I'm going to go ahead and start soldering these connections up, and try to get everything fitted in the box. I, I did pre-fit it, this is kind of the way it's going to sit in there, it's pre-fitted now, uh, it, it's a little tight, because I have to leave enough room for the eye hook, but I'm going to use a double nut on that, so that, that's going to help me a lot. All right, let me go ahead and get this uh, rolling along here. All right, folks. There's the finished product. Give you a little view here. 
SO239. I didn't have to solder any more wire on. I was able to get the shielding back and actually just use the shield inside for the, the uh, shielded connection. The uh, center conductor is soldered. There's your choke. Okay. There's your random wire lead. Okay. There's the 9 to 1 unun. Here's the eye hook that I put on. Let's flip this thing around a little bit here so we can get a different view of this. As I said, I added a wire to the drawing and I put a counterpoise on. Okay, that's the next point I put on. So the, I do have a counterpoise. Now, you can use it. You, maybe you don't want to. Maybe you want your, you know, maybe you want your uh, coax to be the counterpoise. But this is going to help, I think, because I'm choking it here. So, you know, again, this is my design. I didn't find this anywhere outside of the 9 to 1 unun. And I did put a picture. Uh, somebody asked me in the comments already about, hey, uh, Jack, where did you get that picture at? I actually did a screenshot uh, off of the guy's video. That's why I paused it in the last video long enough for you to take a screenshot of that picture. Uh, take a screenshot or a picture of my uh, paper and then just print it off on your printer. So I would suggest a color printer when you're making these. So, But yeah, everything is in. Everything is soldered. Um, the only thing I'm going to do yet is these things do move around a lot. So I'm going to put hot glue in here and glue this down. Uh, to the uh, plastic there. It seemed to work the last time, so we're going to do the same thing this time. All right, let me go ahead and wrap this video up. Okay, guys, so all in all, I mean, it was a fun build. Um, I can honestly say, like I said, I'm very transparent with these videos. This is actually the second day since I started this video because when I was stripping the coax down, I don't know if I just wasn't into it at the present moment or something was wrong. I mean, but I know I used these same strippers before and uh, I, I just got it too deep. I, I pulled too much of the shielding off. I broke a wire off when I soldered it to the main, uh, the inside connector, you know, to the, when I was soldering the uh, choke to the nine to one unun. I moved it and it broke in half and I just said I was done for the night. I was just spent at that point. And I, I couldn't do anymore. So I always tell my kids at school too, you know, if, if it gets too frustrating, walk away and think about what you're doing. Let it roll in your head a little bit. So after a good night's sleep, I woke up this morning and I started thinking, you know, I've used those strippers for that, that choke that I built before. So I know it'll work on that coax. I was just trying to rush it. So I came upstairs, started taking a little bit of time and started working on a little bit more and then as you see and i got the, the final product um, you know i am going to go ahead and hot glue that down like i said now i already seen one comment when i was initially starting this when i was doing the build of the um, the anun and you know i do like constructive criticism i do because i'm new at this at building stuff and putting uh, my thoughts together into actual projects and the gentleman said that the reason people don't put the choke with the uh, ballon or unknown in the same box is because they will cause interference to each other. Now, again, it's just an experiment. Okay? It's, it's not a lifelong goal of mine to make this thing work. And, and it, you know, the, I guess the goal is, can I put this thing up in a tree, put a wire on it, and can I make a contact? That's kind of the goal. And see how it works. See if I do get any, uh, you know, uh, RFI or reflected power back out of the box without having another choke on it. So, again, it's just an experiment, but I do appreciate that gentleman's. Uh, and, and if I find his name in the comments, I'll actually put, I'll put his name like here. Uh, I will. I'll put his uh, YouTube channel or name right here. I don't know if he has a channel. Because I like you guys kicking me back thoughts. Because when you do stuff like this and when I'm sitting up here in the room and I draw something else, like, will that work? I don't know. Let's give it a whirl and see, you know. So, but yeah, breaking that wire off last night was a real bummer. And I was like, yeah, I'm just done. Because I, then I had to rewind the choke because I had it cut so short. So I had to cut my, my uh, zip ties. And, and luckily I left enough. I will tell you that leave slack on all of your wires in case something goes terribly wrong. 
and you got to cut something off, you can unwind it and have more wire to run, wind back around. Um, it's a fun project. I hope to, and I don't know when this video is dated or when this video will come out. I hope to uh, go to the park tomorrow. My goal is, is to use this actual unun with the built-in choke tomorrow and see how it works. And I will record that findings because right now I don't know. It's really cold out today. I'm not going to throw a wire up, at, you know, yeah, because I'm going out to park tomorrow. So I'm not going to do it today. Everything has its timing, right? And uh, that's just the way it is. But guys, I, I really appreciate everybody out there that's been watching these videos. You know, some videos strike home, man, and, and they do really, really well. He says, I have a box coming today that I'm going to do a video on. Can't wait until it gets here. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm an impulse buyer. And, uh, but I'll show you that in, in another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I do really appreciate it. I appreciate the community we're building up here. It's a great community. I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, I, I always tell you, I never know what I'm going to record next. So, you know, I just hope it's entertaining. I hope it's uh, educational for you. And I know these are very educational as far as like, does it work? Will it work? Who knows? But uh, anyway, but thanks for watching. I'm not going to rattle on no more. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT, your good old friend Jack, up here again in the beautiful Jack Shack. <laughs> well, it's actually just an old room. If you've seen some of the room on the videos, you're like, wow, that's a pretty old room. It is. It's an older room in our house that I just kind of converted over. And, uh, you know, it's a computer room and a shack now. So it works for me. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be functional. Again, guys, if you like this video, smash that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And you know what? Please, please leave comments below. If you made it this far in the video, I'm saying, please make comments please leave comments below. And guys, I hope to catch you all on the airway at some time. I've been talking to a lot of you already on CW. Uh, the, the conversations get a little lengthy because they're like, hey, I've watched your video or you know, I've seen you on YouTube and, and I actually talked to another YouTuber last night. So absolutely awesome to meet more people in different communities. Again, take care, everybody. 73s, hope to catch you on the airway. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye for now.